Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a banking system. So why you would need a banking system is something you're going to have to figure out, but uh, this is how you would do it. I'll show it to you really quickly. So welcome to the banking system. You currently have zero gold. What would you like to do? Let's see if we can take out money. Um, I'll take 20 million, please. Oh, we don't have that much in our account. Okay, how about if we just take out, can I have one gold? Ah, you don't have that much in your account. All right, let's deposit. You can see we have our money account right here. Uh, we currently have zero gold in our account, so let's make a deposit for 30 million. Oh, but we don't have that much. Okay, can we make a deposit for one coin? Uh, nope, we're not even holding a single coin, so let's get some money. All right, now we've got half a million coins here. Let's uh, see if we can uh, withdraw. Nope, we don't have that money. Okay, let's try to d deposit. Can we deposit? Oops. Now we've deposited zero coins. Um, let's deposit 30 million. Oh, we don't have that much. What if we try to deposit um, 100,000? Sure. We've trusted them with 100,000. We currently have 100,000 in our account. Cool. Let's see if we could deposit um, 200,000. Well, we still have 400, so now that we've deposited 200,000 more, we currently have 300,000 in our account. Cool. Let's try to withdraw. 20, or was that 2 million? We don't have that much. Let's try to withdraw 200,000. All right, so we have 400,000. Let's get our money back here. We're gonna withdraw 100,000. There we go. So we've removed the last 100,000. We have zero in our account. And we're, we're back where we started with 500,000 coins. So that's a little overview of what the banking system looks like. Um, <clears throat> Let me show you how I'm doing this. Um, the event for the banking system is just a, a common event that says uh, bank system. And uh, if you want to have, have them over a table, all I'm doing right here is um, controlling the event so that if I talk to the event from right here, I've named the banker uh, banker dude. So I do a move event. And I have the move event uh, or the banker turn left and then call on the common event. And if I talk to him from right here, I'm doing a move event that's having the banker turn up and then call in the common event. So let's look at that common event. So in our common event, we're using three variables. All you need is three variables. I'm also using a plugin. You may have noticed that uh, when we talk to the banker in the top right corner of the screen, it shows our gold count. So you'll need a plugin for that. Um, all you're really going to need is. Uh, uh, one plugin from Yanfly, and it's called the Map Gold Window. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get that plugin. Um, really simple and easy to use plugin. You can have that little box pop up in uh, anywhere on the screen, basically, and you can use this to specify where you want it to be. I've chosen uh, location nine uh, by default. You can also s uh, select the default. You could also select if you want it to open automatically when the game starts or not. <clears throat> so in that common event, uh, the first thing that's happening is we're going to create three variables. So we'll insert new, control variables, and we're going to select, um, it doesn't really matter what location, but just keep in mind that uh, you want to put them in this order. Uh, if you're not using variables 72, 73, 74 and you want to create this skill, it might make a little more sim uh, sense to just use those three variables to make it easier if you're trying to copy this. Um, the first variable you're going to make is gold count. The second variable is going to be gold stored. And 74 is going to be your bank action or bank request. So right off the top, we're going to set our gold count to uh, game data. So we're going to control variable select our gold count uh, operation of set and we're going to put this to the game data of how much gold we have in our party like that uh, the second thing we're going to be doing is uh, controlling our bank action to make it zero so all we're doing is uh, controlling variable so, uh, selecting bank action setting that to zero uh, the next thing we're doing is we're inserting a plugin command so that's on the third tab insert new go to the third tab plugin command and we're gonna go open map gold window in that plugin command all one word capitalizing the first letter on each of the words so open map gold window <clears throat> that's gonna cause the box to open so you can see what how much gold you have at all times 
Uh, then this is flavor text right here. I'm saying welcome to the banking system and I'm doing forward slash C with the color 14 to give it that gold looking color. Um, and then it's letting the player know how much gold they're holding. If you don't want to use, uh, I've included this, so if you don't want to use the plugin, you don't have to. You can inform the player how much gold they're holding right here. Um, also using the, the plugin commands. After you color text, remember it's going to color everything after it until you do forward slash C, and that'll put it back to default coloring. Uh, alternatively, you can go uh, with a zero, which will put it to default, but you don't actually have to even put that in there. Um, doing the same thing here, except now we're calling on a variable. So we're doing uh, forward slash V with the 72, since we, sit, uh, we set our variable 72 to the amount of gold in our inventory. So this is checking how much gold we have in our inventory and displaying it by displaying the variable. And then asking the player what they would like to do. And this is uh, uh, forward slash N with brackets. It's going to cause the, um, the text box to have like a name. So in the top, uh, the top left corner of the message box, you'll see a name pop up right there. So that'll appear right here. This part will be right here. Um, after that, we're showing choices. So in those choices, you can still use color commands. So this is going to say deposit, and then it's going to make this look like a gold color. And the withdraw, same thing, and do nothing. So our default is going to be on deposit, and our cancel is going to be on three for do nothing. <clears throat> uh, under deposit, we're saying uh, more text. It's telling the player that you currently have this much gold in your account. So 73 is our gold stored. A variable which is currently zero from default and then we're also changing the name to uh, deposit we're adding that in the the name so the player can remember what they just selected if in case they forgot so that'll say driftwood banking deposit and then you'll see um, an input text or input uh, number so right after that we're doing input number so input number is on the tab one input number you select the variable that you want it to be in this case, um, I'm having it selected to the bank action, so we're selecting our bank action, and the number of digits is up to you. I've selected eight since that's the maximum. Uh, underneath that, we're making a conditional branch, so that'll be right on the first uh, tab under flow control, conditional branch. And in this conditional branch, we're gonna say, if bank action, which is our 74 variable, is greater than our gold count, which is our 72, we're gonna have it do this, and then we're gonna create a check else branch so we're saying if we're trying to do something that we don't have the gold to do it's gonna let the player know we're trying to uh, deposit money we don't have it's gonna let the player know I'm sorry you're not holding that much gold on you and then that's all that's gonna happen uh, on the else handler what it's gonna do is it's gonna change gold so you're gonna insert new change gold and you're gonna um, decrease it by the variable of uh, your bank action so right here, we're decreasing our gold by the 74th variable, bank action. Underneath that, we need to update the variable. So we're um, controlling a variable, we're um, selecting gold stored, and we're adding our bank action to that variable. Underneath that, we're letting the player know what has happened. We're saying you've trusted us with your uh, this much gold, which is our bank action. And you currently have, this is our uh, gold stored variable in your account and then with the name and that's the end for deposit under withdraw it's going to say you currently have um, this much gold in your account and this is our gold stored variable and we're let we're updating this name text to withdraw also to let the player know what they just selected in case they forgot so when it's displaying how much money they have in their account to withdraw from and then after that it's going to input number again and this time we're, we're still selecting bank action with the number of digits that's up to you. I've selected eight since that's the maximum. Uh, underneath that, we're doing another conditional branch. So in this conditional branch, you're gonna use the 73 variable gold stored is less than uh, our bank action and also using a create an else branch handler. In the first uh, thing that happens after the conditional branch has been met, we're gonna say um, if, if they're trying to um, deposit or they're, they're trying to withdraw um, more money than they have in their account it's gonna let the player know I'm sorry you don't have that much gold in your account otherwise it's going to change a variable and it's going to subtract um, you're gonna select 73 gold stored for the variable we're gonna subtract the bank action the number that we inputted from the amount of gold stored and then we're gonna change gold and we're gonna add uh, uh, change gold by increasing our gold by how much we've selected our bank action to be Underneath that, we're going to let the player know what has just happened. We're saying that we've removed uh, our bank action amount, 
gold from your account and letting the player know that you currently have, this is our gold stored variable, remaining in your account. And that's the end of that. When you say do nothing, all it's going to do is let the player know that they're a valued customer and uh, uh, wish them well on their journey and thank them for their business. And at the end of that, uh, we're going to do another plugin command to close the gold box pop-up. So this will just be on the third tab on the bottom right plugin command. Close map gold window. All capitals on the first letters. And uh, that's all you would have to do. So then whenever you reference this bank system, a common event, it's going to open up the bank system and uh, give you access to store your money. Uh, now some reasons why you would want to make a bank system. Uh, maybe you would have items or, or maybe you would have enemies that would steal gold from the party or maybe um, certain things are based off the percentage of gold you have left like maybe you have a skill that would increase in damage based on the percentage uh, there's several reasons but I can't think of too many of them uh, maybe you guys can leave, let me know in the comments below why you'd want a banking system and if you like this tutorial remember to like favorite share and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching this video continue to stay awesome stay classy you guys are great we will see you in the next tutorial